Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel, Deb Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair. Okay, that's how we get down over here on this here channel, okay? We're going to be going, talking about a story that was put out by Urban Bell Magazine. And of course, none other than Amanda Anderson Niles is ripping the pages up for us to bring us another salacious story from their platform of Urban Bell Mag Magazine. And hey, we just need to shout out a few people and then we're going to jump right on into this article and see what it gives us and see what we feel about it towards the end. And the middle and the beginning. You know my sidebars, okay? But I want to say hello and thank you for stopping by. Uh, Sonny Diller, thanks for uh, putting a crown on me, baby. But I wear the crown with my family, a fair family. We wear the crown together. Sometimes I go and let have and I forget where I'm coming from. Y'all have to bring me back. <laughs> in the dark out there y'all had to come back with y'all flashlights and y'all torches and get and wrap me up in a comforter and, and calm me down okay like i did last night on that review i did on kenya moore on the real housewives of atlanta she was a hot mess she was spinning out of control and i had to try my best to tame her okay and i want to say thank you for stopping by karen reamer uh you said some very nice things that kenya would definitely love and all her kenya supporters and i agree with you 100 percent. but she has to change a lot she really does if she's doing this just for the show then that's another whole thing that we can pretty much tear her up in but if she's not if this is how she really is then yeah she needs very much so prayer Oh, excuse me. And I want to thank Amy VW. And I see you're having trouble with your notifications. What I usually do when I know I've been subbed to someone, but I'm not getting their notifications, I go back unsub, resub, and hit all the notification bells again. And hopefully that should subside that from happening uh, for you not getting my notifications. But thank you for wanting to get them. I appreciate you. And I want you over here all the time, okay? Checking me out, seeing what I don't put out for us to divulge because I put it out for y'all. Then y'all got to come back, look at the video, and tell me what y'all think about it. That's how we communicate with each other. That's how we stay in touch with each other. And I hopefully y'all had a very nice Monday morning. I hear this coronavirus is just, just spreading to every state. I personally think they just putting it. And it's the government sitting up there putting stuff around in each and every territory, every rural area, every large populated city, just to get fear in us. For we don't, uh, we forget about what uh, is major out there now, which is trying to reelect our next president. So y'all stay strong, y'all stay focused, and y'all do what y'all gotta do. Even though they be putting all these salacious stories out here to uh, kind of. Uh, sway us from looking at the important things which is who need to be up in office running this government um they want to put other stories out there for us to get kind of scared and chaotic and, and be like we don't know what to do with ourselves yes we do honey those who believe in the lord know things are going to be taken care of regardless if we panic or we don't panic all right so stay uh strong and steadfast of who you want to be up there in that presidency and go out there and vote if that's what you choose to do okay but getting on into this article uh it says real housewives of atlanta stars tanya sams and portia williams warn cynthia bailey about kenya moore okay and these are two good people honey two good people that have known kenya more so portia has known her a lot longer than tanya but she knows how the slithery snake of kenya moore's household goes okay she knows about kenya and she knows how kenya gets down so she pretty much is trying to say faith and tell um Cynthia, don't put your eggs all in one basket. Similar to what you did with Nene, I mean, look how that look how that has gotten you over the years, okay? But Nene has never done you as bad as Kenya can definitely do you and get away with it, and would even have an apology for you, okay? So it must be something coming up on the new episode, maybe coming up in the next couple of weeks or next week, where they're gonna show 
King is making fun of Cynthia's choices of preparing certain foods with certain wines and pretty much showing uh, her skill of her caliber of knowing what wine goes with what food choice. You know what I'm saying? To be an uh, excellent beverage for uh, dining and whining with your food and how it complements your palate. So it seems like she's trying to make a fool out of Cynthia that you own a winery but you don't know what meats or what salads go with what uh, wine that brings out all the flavor and the juices in whatever you're serving for your patrons to eat or partake of you know what I'm saying nice and nice. I said that's Kenya Moore y'all love her okay I just watch her okay and I could be ready to call her out on all her ways but this is who some people call friends friends how many of us have them friends before we the ones we can depend on friends okay y'all know where i'm going with it right <laughs> okay anyway we're going into the article that amanda anderson niles put out for us she goes in her first paragraph by saying real housewives of atlanta star kenya moore had her reasons for not wanting to make peace with Nene Leakes. While the ladies were in Greece, Kenya wasn't interested in having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Nene. Cynthia Bailey figured Nene could give Kenya advice, especially since Nene has been through a divorce and remarried Greg Leakes. Despite Nene's olive branch, Kenya uh, felt as if Nene wasn't being genuine. So it's not looking like the two women will ever be friends. Interesting enough, Kenya's friendship with Cynthia will be a focal point for Tanya Sands and Portia Williams. On the upcoming episode, they try to convince Cynthia that Kenya threw some shade and she needs to pay attention. Okay? Yes, she needs to pay attention instead of being all over Mike's ass and up his ass instead of looking at who she vouching for as a friend. And that's just my sidebar, not in this article, okay? Going back to the article, it says, Cynthia Bailey used to be close friends with Nene Leakes. However, the women fell out on the previous season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Although they can be cordial nowadays, it was Cynthia's friendship to Kenya Moore that was a factor in the rift. Interestingly enough, Kenya and Cynthia's friendship will be questioned on the upcoming episode. While the ladies are having some wine in Greece, Kenya asked Cynthia what she would pair the rose they are drinking with. Cynthia says fish and grilled chicken would work. Kenya then asks if Cynthia is sure because rose might actually overpower shrimp and seafood. Portia Williams and Tanya Sounds feels as if that was a shady moment. And Kenya was just trying to prove that Cynthia doesn't have much knowledge about wine, despite much knowledge about wine. I'm sorry, despite owning her own wine celery. Okay, or cellar. They feel this was foul to do to Cynthia, especially while they were filming. But Cynthia said she thought Kenya was joking. See, that's what's wrong with Ken uh, Cynthia. She always think people are joking. People don't need to be joking about your livelihood. You're sitting up there owning a, wine, a winery cellar where you sell wine. And people look at you for your connoisseur of fine wines. They want to be able to know what kind of cheese and crackers, what type of wine they can put together to have a flavor that comes out very outstanding to impress people, okay? Or just like can you say, what meats go with what wine? We want you to know this stuff. That's just out the board, 101, practitioner type work, girl. That's what I'm saying. Damn, Cynthia. Whew. Ooh, you need to be a housewife, Cynthia. For real, you need to be a housewife, girl. Because you're not coming up to the plate. And, ooh. Okay, here we go again. Let me digress. Ooh. Let me digress. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it said, um, but Cynthia says she thought Kenya was joking. Tanya and Portia tell her it wasn't a joke. And I'm right there with her. I'm right there with her. And they think they have some footage here or audio. Let me see what it sounds like. Hopefully it won't buffer. Next 
images would bind you, Black Cat. Come on. What would you pair this lovely rosé with? Fish and maybe a nice grilled chicken. Even though rosé might overpower the shrimp and seafood. Why is she trying to test Cynthia's knowledge and make it known that Cynthia doesn't know much about the wine industry? Kenya was throwing a lot of shade at the Bailey Wine Cellar. I knew that she was joking. A joke is a one-time thing. It's a joke. Hammering. Not jokes. Yes. But this shit that we're arguing about has got us so far apart. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yes i guess spit gate is gonna come up in this actual hopefully episode that's gonna air on the 15th of this month okay but guys yeah she was over there trying to question uh cynthia bailey's connoisseur of the wine industry on what to pair what meats uh to bring out a nice sultry flavor uh to your food when you're introducing the wine palette to your mouth okay and i found that as to be a little shady too and filming also that's messing with her brand like uh kenya did you not specify that tanya was messing with your brand when she brought out that wig situation you see where i'm going with this team twirl how she always come for the juggler but when somebody comes for the juggler for her then you know it's like oh um uh, i'm sorry i said that oh i didn't mean to say it that way oh you taking it too serious yeah that's the narcissist crazy as kenya moore uh in full effect all right but that's all i'm gonna say about her she's still on my bad side right now and she ain't doing anything to improve it by this upcoming episode but fam y'all get down in them comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about this new update of a new plot kenya is putting in to bring down one of her besties that she says is her best friend her ride or die she rides for cynthia and what y'all think about portia and Tanya trying to bring it to the forefront that kenya is not necessarily your friend that's what she tried they trying to tell mm -hmm. cynthia but cynthia's sitting up there looking all dazed like she'd been in parliament funkadelic ecstasy type of uh coming down on drug or something i'm like oh my goodness why are we even having this conversation with cynthia it just don't flew over uh, it don't flew it flew over the cuckoo nest she don't understand she don't understand because she got to go back and she gonna pretty much tell kenya exactly what she felt some other people were saying she probably even mentioned portia and tanya's name which is gonna start up some more drama and mess hell this all i don't need to go back to nene's side because kenya tried to get them on her side but Kenya try to fight every last one of them as she can. And just like she's turning, Candy, your time is coming too. Watch and see, baby girl. Watch and see. But that's all I have for this particular video. Like, comment, and share our videos so we can have more people come over to the family, dialogue, interact with one another. And, you know, we can break bread and stuff and be talking and kicking and having a good old time with one another. Y'all be blessed and I'll see y'all next video. Good night.